As I continue working with an image that I'm optimizing in Lightroom, I essentially start focusing on finer and finer detail as it were, starting with the biggest adjustments that I really need and working my way down to the less and less important adjustments. That's not to say that these less important adjustments are unimportant, just that they're a lower priority on the list. And so I'm essentially just working my way down the list of everything I can think of to make this photo look its best. As a result, over the course of that process, I'm essentially scrutinizing the image more and more. And that's certainly where we are at this point. I'm very happy with the overall image. I've corrected all of the problems that I think are really significant problems and I've improved the overall tonality and color. But now I'm noticing something that I had seen earlier and thought maybe wasn't too much of a problem, but it is bothering me just a little bit, and that is some of the magenta tones in the photo. I had looked at those magenta tones when I was adjusting the overall white balance, the color temperature and the tint, but now in one specific area of the photo, there is some magenta that I'd like to get rid of, if at all possible. And that is up at the horizon, essentially, toward the left side of the photo. I'll click in that area to zoom in, and you can see very clearly the sort of purple magenta tones in that area. And I'd like to get rid of them. Now, in theory, I could shift the tint slider more toward green, but I'm already happy with the overall adjustment, so I don't want to shift the tint. Instead, I just want to desaturate those magenta tones. And so over on the right panel in the develop module, I will scroll down to the HSL section, that's hue, saturation, and luminance, and that allows me to adjust, of course, hue, saturation, and luminance for individual colors. And so I want to focus on saturation, and we'll start off with the magentas, we'll probably take a look at purples as well. Just to see the problem a little more clearly, I'll increase the value for magenta all the way to its maximum, I'll go ahead and increase purple as well. And you can see that sure enough, those areas that I was concerned about are even more exaggerated. So you can see the nature of the problem, and it's something that I'd like to tone down a little bit. Well, if I can make the problem worse by using a positive value for those two sliders, I can certainly improve the result with a negative value. So I'll go ahead and drag the value for both of those sliders a little bit toward the negative. Now, I don't want to go too far because I'll create a very artificial appearance if I have this gray band in the background of the photo that had otherwise been a little bit magenta. I just want to tone the effect down. I don't want it to be eye-catching, essentially. I just want it to blend in very naturally into the image. So just a relatively modest reduction in the saturation for, in this case, the purple and magenta sliders. I think works very well. Of course, I'll want to evaluate the overall image as well to make sure I'm not creating new problems somewhere else, but that looks to be very good. So I've toned down the magenta and the purple in the photo so that I don't have that sort of distracting color band up toward the top left of the image. Certainly a very minor issue that was affecting a small portion of the photo, but it's those sorts of smaller issues, that attention to detail, that can really help you make the most of any photo.